Hey everyone. So today I'm doing a video on the Paper Magic Group Animated Shaking Skeleton with long hands. So I got this from eBay not too long ago. You probably saw my unboxing video of it. And I think it's a pretty neat item. It's my second favorite hanging item. My first one is still the Sonic Reaper out of Faceless. It was like shipped in like a bag, like wrapped in a ton of bubble wrap and stuff. I was like worried that one of the fingers was going to snap off and it did. This, this thumb broke off. This finger was missing already. I just have it held on with tape right now, but eventually I'll get around to hot gluing it. When I got it at first, it didn't work. It properly, it would make noise and light up, but it wouldn't shake. But that was actually just because of the batteries and I ended up opening it, but it's fine because I was going to open it anyway to do an audio rip. And it has audio that I've never heard before. I'm not sure if it's entirely unique to this item, but it's unique to me. So I'm happy with it. Even if it didn't, I would still like it. When I saw on eBay, I thought the hands would like move back and forth uh, like a Sunstar slashing item, but unfortunately it doesn't. It just shakes, but that's still pretty cool. But the hands do move, and I'll get into that. But it's not electronic. And I can tell that it's been repaired before because on one of the sides there's just like a big glob of hot glue. On this side there's just a really big hot glue th blob. So I'll get into the details now. So you can see it has these really long hands. I don't exactly know why they decided to make them like that. I suppose it was just a stylistic choice. And I think that maybe they wanted, because like they made the fingers movable like this. So maybe they wanted them to like jiggle around when it shakes. And they do a little bit, but not very much. And the hands are fully posable. So you can pose them back and forth and sideways. Except this one doesn't pose sideways, it's either stuck or glued. It doesn't look like there's glue on it, so I'm pretty sure it's just stuck. And this one is kind of loose. It's so hard to like do videos in this mask, actually. The shoulder pieces like move a little bit. But like, they don't move during the activation, it's just, you can like, move them. And there's the face. It has these eyes and this head that have been used by Paper Magic Group before. Apparently that's just what people tell me. Like, it looks familiar, and you can see it's green, and actually, like, when I unglued the hood to take it apart, I found out it's actually painted all the way around. Even though nobody would likely see the back unless they were like me and took the hood off. But it's fully painted, or fully colored. Here's the, the string you hang it from. It's just a normal string, and there's a loop at the top. Also, like, this, like isn't like staying up. I'm probably going to glue that too when I glue the finger on. There's the the switch between sound activated and off, the speaker, and three AA battery compartments. Adults assembly required. Remove screw to replace batteries. Don't tell my parents. And there's like red incandescent bulbs behind the eyes. So yeah, it doesn't do too much, but it's a vintage item. But like, I mean, it's like, look at, look at that. Imagine if he did this. I just want to see it do this. Like, that would be so powerful. Like, everyone in a 10 mile radius would die immediately. But imagine the power if it did the middle finger. Like, that that has world ending potential if it did the middle finger. Like, I don't know why. I just feel like it would have that kind of power. And this is how long the cloth is. It's not too long. Sometimes, like, it's actually sound activated like it's supposed to be, but sometimes it stops responding to sound and just goes on its own every few seconds. Like, it's really strange. I'm not sure why it happens. It's definitely, like, a circuit board issue because I, when I was inside it, wires on the sound sensor were fine. So I think it just has a circuit board issue, so I don't know how well it's going to work in my haunt. I don't know if it, like, like, one time it was, like, doing the on its own thing and then it went back to sound activated mode. And also it makes, like, a pop sound when it goes on its own, like a little pop sound. And also sometimes it gets like a little stuck but you can just like move it a little and it goes kind of short activation it plays the same sound four times so i'll show it now
I feel like it gets stuck easier when it goes on its own. Like when you get it sound activated, it goes. <laughs> See what I mean? So yeah, that's all I have to say about this item, so thanks for watching.